Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Fazana. Today I want to talk about six habits that has changed my life for the better. Um, some of the habits are newer habits that I've picked up in 2020 and some has been there for a couple of years now and I really want to talk about how they've added value to my life. So the newest one is I've gone caffeine free. So I've been caffeine free now for about five months and one of the biggest benefits that I've noticed is the consistent energy. Um, I think when I used to drink a lot of coffee, maybe like two, three coffees a day, I felt that my kind of energy levels fluctuated quite a bit. In the morning, I'd feel quite sluggish until I had my first hit of caffeine and then I'd feel kind of a fall down in energy towards maybe around lunchtime and another one maybe around 3 p.m. So I felt that having that slump really affected my work and I felt that I couldn't really kind of perform effectively through the day. And the other thing was my sleep was actually quite terrible. Even though I'd go to bed quite early, I'd feel and, and I'd sleep kind of through the night, but I felt that the quality wasn't quite there. I'd feel like tired the next morning again and it was just like an endless cycle of this like energy roller coaster. And since I've been caffeine free, Maybe the first couple of weeks was a little bit rough. I did get headaches, which all headaches, and I did also kind of felt a little bit sluggish initially, just kind of getting out of it. And once kind of, I guess all of the caffeine was out of my system and that habit loop was kind of changing where I wasn't looking for an energy hit, um, I noticed that my energy was much more consistent through the day. And if I do feel sluggish in the afternoon now, I do something active to kind of just wake my body up and just like rejig my mind. Like even if it's doing something like going for a little walk um, or just doing quite jumping jacks if I'm working from home, that kind of stuff. Uh, and that I found to be immensely helpful. Um, so the second habit I want to talk about is gratitude journaling. So I've talked about this in um, my kind of values and looking for like positivity um, in, in life. And I've been doing gratitude journaling now for about four years. Yeah about four years and I kind of started doing it when I was in, in a bit of a bad place in my life. And at the beginning, it kind of felt quite forced. Um, it felt forced and I felt like what I was writing wasn't like, it, it felt kind of mundane. It felt like I was looking at like tiny little things and forcing myself to be happy. Um, but I kind of did push through that phase of not feeling like it was kind of bringing me anything but um, I'm glad I did because four years on it's become like an automatic cue and um, like before I go to bed every night I write three things down that I'm super grateful for for that day and I try to make them as specific as possible so it could be something like if you've been on a walk and seen the sunset uh, or if you've really enjoyed a meal that you've made yourself or if you've gone on a um, like a run with a friend and um, something that's kind of brightens your day something that you want to cherish and one of the side benefits of that that i found is that i well in the beginning of it anyway i really noticed is that i was actively looking for positive things in my life so it made my outlook a lot more optimistic and positive so i find immense value in that and i do it as like an autopilot just on a notebook and a pen um in my kind of like nightstand and yeah just write three things every night and yeah i highly recommend it for everyone like you don't have to be in a bad place in your life to start start today and honestly it will really really help you um especially with like covid going on i think people are finding it some people are struggling quite a bit and i think it helps you to really look at kind of the things in your life that you cherish um, so the third one is meditation. I talked about this briefly in my 2020 favorites. Um, so I use Headspace mostly for meditation. Um, but if you are having like a maybe your phone's not near you, what you can do is just do some breath work and just like really focusing on your breath for a couple of minutes and just breathing in and out. And that helps me to slow down and really kind of appreciate and be present in the moment that I'm in. And I do have quite a restless mind um, and I've noticed that in the last few years since I've been using Headspace and just really focusing on being mindful, it's helped me to kind of be uh, like in the moment and just be with what's around me rather than going off ruminating or just overthinking about things and just getting anxious about things that haven't yet happened uh, and just really be kind of um, enjoying the people around me and enjoying the moments around me and enjoying myself as well um, yeah and the kind of leading on from that one of the other side benefits of 
being a little bit more mindful is I've read a lot more. So my kind of fourth habit is reading more. I really read, I've enjoyed reading since I was a child, but um, kind of in my twenties, it kind of fell away from me a little bit. Um, I kind of like life got in the way, I was focusing on my career and I wasn't really reading as much as I'd like to um, and one one of the other things that really helped me to read a lot more is Audible. Um, I absolutely think that app is the greatest thing ever. Um, if, you know, back in the days before Covid when we were um, commuting, I would read a lot or, or listen to audiobooks a lot on my commute um, and also just even when I'm like sat and um, just not doing much, having a cup of tea um, I like to like listen to audiobooks or podcasts as well um, which kind of talk about other books that I get recommendations from that I found to be really really helpful um, yes so reading more has like really made me think about um, how my mind works to bring self-awareness in my life and also I, I read a fair few like fiction books as well and it really helps me think about people that have different opinions to me, people that are not like me and have had a different life experience than me and really appreciate um, other people's life experiences and also help helps me to be a bit more compassion, comp compassionate and also just a, a bit more empathi em empathetic. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get my words out today. Um, yeah, it's a bit more like, emp brings a bit more empathy that I can kind of um, apply to my life and apply to my relationships. Um, and the next habit, I have had this for the longest time actually, I've had it probably the longest from all of the other habits, is turning off all of the notifications on my phone. Um, so the only thing that I have notifications for is probably like um, like my bank apps and just the calls that come through, um, that's it. And yeah, because no one calls anymore, so it's great. <laughs> so you're hard to get any notifications. The only people that call me is probably my parents um, and that's about it and um yeah and i find that really really helpful again to be mindful and and i think it also kind of um trains other people around you to know how to communicate with you so if someone wants to speak to me they either call call me or like facetime me so then you're getting like an actual present conversation rather than lots of back and forth whatsapping and also just like meeting up in person which has been harder this year uh, i'll admit but um again like um trying not to be available at all times and having subpar human connections uh, so yeah so turning on notifications helped me kind of not be addicted to social media as much and also just my phone in general so I can just kind of leave it on a side and go off and do whatever I wanted to and just enjoy that activity um, at that moment in time and I think we're on my last one Sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. My, um, yeah, I didn't want to kind of miss anything out. Um, yeah, so the last one, I think I've mentioned this in my values video, is value journaling. I probably don't do it as um, consistently as I used to because I think I've kind of, it's kind of formed into a habit where I kind of question myself whether the, the, whatever it is that I'm doing, does it align with the, my value and who I am and does it align with my goals? Um, so yeah, I think initially when I started of doing it, I'd write down all of my values every day and just write small things that I've done to kind of um, live my value for that day. So for example, if uh, one of my uh, value is health, have I eaten well that day? Have I, um, you know, meditated or have I kind of emotionally looked after myself? Um, if your value is relationships, um, have you spoken to someone and had a real conversation today? Have you connected with people today? And have you kind of, um, nurtured your relationships in a respectful way so even things like if we're gossiping or if, if you hear someone else gossiping have you kind of not engaged in it and um, so you are kind of honoring the relationships that you have in your life and um, those so this habit helped me kind of really value the kind of connections that I have in my life and it's made me be more aligned to who I am and I also think my friends and family have learned a lot about me in that way where I've said no to a lot more things that don't align with my values they've learned the kind of person that I am and also in the future maybe they won't ask me to do certain things because they know that doesn't align with my values and in that way I've actually kind of helped them learn a lot more about me and made our kind of relationship a lot richer um, so yeah, I hope that's helpful for you. If there are any habits that you have that you've kind of, um, that have brought value to your life, please do leave a comment and let me know. I do really enjoy reading all your comments and 
let's let's connect let's make this a community and let's kind of spread um, happiness and contentment and meaning thank you for watching guys please do like share and subscribe if you've enjoyed my content see you next time bye